today a short replay on Beaux against British. My enemy is Commando Kai. You might know him. He's one of the British guys who have thousands of wins but also defeats. Uh, on this map against British, I used to go two cattle crats. It's enough. And yeah, then I go for a very unique um, tactic. It's um, it's one PG after the two cattle crats into straight T2. And then until I have 20 fuel for the first half track, um, I keep building grenadiers and then after the, the half track is on the field um, I straight go for the upgrade for Shreks and when the when the Shrek upgrade is done normally I have 150 ammunition and I can go straight for two Shreks into the half track then um, the key point is going on. I try to rush behind into his base. And the timing is pretty nice of the T2 of the British. Sometimes it right comes out of the spawning point when I uh, reach his base. Yeah, so like I said, T2 is building now after the two crats. On this map it's nice because you have a lot of big sectors like this 16 ammunition point and also this 10 plus. You can hold it pretty easily in the early game. Okay, like I said, I wait for the 20 ammunitions in, uh, sorry for the fuel and in the meanwhile I'm building more BGs. I try to not uh, get a lot of damage on my Kretenkrat, so I sneak around. I also go for Luft Doctrine. This is a must. I uncloak it for a second. I go further and cloak it again. So now, in these situations, the British has only one... Uh, yeah, he has two options. He can go with the uh, second squad for this ammunition point, but he risks to lose this fuel point. So it's pretty bad for him. So he can't get more sectors. And I just decap him there. Okay. Second PG is out. Half track is building. On the right hand side, there is no enemy contact. That's really nice, so I can grab further and further. I do not start capping this point because it, this uh, unit is way too close. I wait for my second PG and then I start going for this fuel with my PGs as well. I'm searching for the crowd. Yeah, like we see here, I have already 100 ammunition. The half track is also on the field on three minute mark, you can say. Now he's far enough away so I can start decapping the fuel. And we, we go for his view for a second. We see, okay, he has three units, one lieutenant, and he has already enough fuel for the T2. But, um, some British players on this map do not go for three squads. They maybe go for a lieutenant and the second squad, but then they move. Three squads and the lieutenant is already not bad. So the deck order of him is pretty nice. But you will see my strategy as PE does pay off. Even though... Yeah, now we are... We have the two PGs on the field and a half track. And we have to wait until I have 35 fuel for the uh, Shrek upgrade. And I have 300 man bars. So we use them correctly and build another PG to gain more fighting power. I 
I decapped him. He has only 16 plus income. That's fine. And now the show goes on. I have full health spots and a half track against three squads, but I will win any fight because the good thing is you can reinforce next to the half track. That also gives you a lot of positive uh, fighting ability. The next which is building, the third one. One squad retreated. He can snipe me, but that doesn't matter. I can instantly reinforce. It needs four kills of British infantry that the BE ga gains veteran C1. Doesn't matter if it's for the vehicles or for the unit itself. So I'm only one kill away from the first veteran C and it's only minute four and a half. So third BG is out. I have enough fuel for attacking the Shreks and this is the point what I meant before. I have already 150 ammunition and the Shrek upgrade isn't even upgraded completely. So I jump into the halfback now. First I repair. I repair it a little bit. Then I jump into it and I drive back into my territory to do the upgrades on the Shreks, uh, on the Pachis. Now I can again spend the uh, manpowers on uh, another Pachi. Two Shreks are enough for now because when I do a successful push with the half track now into his base and I when I kill his T2, then I have no, I have no uh, fear for any tank or light vehicle of the British because he can't do anything. Churchill, you need three points for it, and he will be far away from it. And the T2 died, so I have some good time to prepare for anything like vehicles or tanks. But if I only kill the T1, yeah, I might go for another uh, another Shrek for a third one. But let's see. So now the British goes for the left side again. He has four units, four squads. I'm going for the T2 half track now. So he might have more fighting power against my infantry. But this is just strategy and it will pay off. So I sneak around this area. Next BG is coming out. I do not want to take extra damage from the MG so I go the long way around. I sneak into his base. First shot missed, but that's not a problem. There's a trench also. Yeah, he thinks I'm map hack now, but that's just strategy, you know? That's pretty much it. He knows he can't do anything now. He will lose H HQ. His units are far away. When he starts retreating now, he has no time to survive the HQ anyhow. As you might heard, I upgraded the uh, repairing ability to repair faster. Um, I always do this because when his infantry is not that far away and he is shooting on my half track with three or four squads, it takes mass damage fast. So I can reverse, repair it very fast and start attacking from another side. But most of the times, also against good players, it, yeah, it works like this. You can see it's on nearly on the 7 minute mark and it's already GG. He might have enough manpowers for calling in a new one, but I mean, when I'm here at this point, he, it just will throw another HQ then. 
yeah this was my first english commentary i hope uh it's nice i hope you enjoy it i you can give positive feedback negative feedback i'm here for learning as well in the youtube scene and yeah see you next time guys bye